bond to the breakdown. So we've got all the elements that we need in the intro. Uh, maybe we'll improvise on it a little bit later uh, to create more space. Uh, but for the time being, let's move on to the breakdown. Okay, so uh, this is our full riff, if you can remember. And we just clone the channel. And as I said earlier, uh, we're going to take this down very low and build it back up again to about a minute and a half. The first breakdown, uh, I intended on creating it uh, at about a, mi uh, a minute long. So uh, that will bring us to bar 65 there. Okay. And we're going to increase this to full at a minute and a half, where there's going to be big impact and all this, the, the synths are going to be coming in together to create that massive energy. I'm just automating the, the cutoff from silent here. In the center of this breakdown, at bar 49, I'm going to reintroduce the, the ride, the crash, the snare just before, and let's introduce the filtered kick drum as well. as well the arp can float over into the into the breakdown and we gradually take the low pass down okay to make this uh, part here sound larger and more euphoric I'm gonna layer the synths again I'm gonna select silent and load a uh, preset. This one's slightly deeper in tone. But it's just going to add another layer. And again, just balance the, the synths out as you go. It's on its own. Just got an extra layer which has fatness sound. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to bus both of these synths to a synth bus and if you right click on the synth bus and create select arrange track, notice that your synth bus is now in Logic's window, sequence of window there. So I'm going to add a high pass filter to the synth bus, which I'm going to automate. I'm also going to add a compressor and we're going to sidechain this. And we're going to sidechain uh, at bar 49 when this kick comes in. To do this on the synth bus, we go to compressor and we select the compressor threshold. Take it down to maybe 23. And it's 23 there. Just to see how that sounds. So as you can see there, that gives a lovely ducking sound, which helps with the movement. I'm going to add an uplifter there and right here. So let's just see what that breakdown sounds like. Okay. 
Next I'm going to introduce a piano. So for this, we're just going to load up ESX24 and select the Steinway piano, which I use quite often. It's quite a warm piano sound and uh, we'll add some effects to the piano as well. So I'm just going to copy my riff down. Let's just take a look at this. So with a with piano, we don't want to play in the full riff. What we're going to do is just keep the first notes from each chord change there and extend them over. Uh, this top line is just playing the same note. Uh, I think we can alter this slightly to give it a, uh, a more euphoric feel. Let's try that. So that's really nice. And there's a lot of feeling in that, which would be great at the start of the breakdown. You can add a little bit of reverb to the piano. What I want to do as well is then add some delay. I'm going to use the Fab Filter Timeless. sounds like when we bring the arpeggio all the way across. Yeah, I prefer that. Now we're going to add a boom effect, which is this. And this is where we're going to have the final build before the first drop. Okay, and to make this final build up, probably going to lose the pianos. Stand this over. And again, like the intro, we're just going to use the first part of the riff. First note. And extend this over. And on the last part. Build. We're going to make these half speed again. And let's just have a listen to that. And on the end here, um, what I do sometimes actually play a rotation of the, the riff, which is the end part, and we're going to copy that across there so you get this effect. Okay, 
and on our synth bus, we're going to automate the high pass filter, which is controlling both of my synths, remember. And we're going to take this up to maybe 3100 around that sort of frequency. And what this is going to do is remove the low frequencies gradually, just to create tension. Okay, so we're looking good. All we need now is a snare roll and maybe some more effects. So let's listen to the breakdown one more time and then we move on. What I'm going to do is put that right there as well. Okay, so uh, we've got a basic breakdown and intro. Uh, next, we're going to be under the snare roll and maybe some more effects. And then uh, I'll show you how to create that massive impact on the drop uh, as Avicii does in some of his tracks and how to create that energy and uh, how to keep it flowing into that main drop. So let's move on to the next section.